So, the night sky in New York. All the famous buildings. Tell me, Chrysler building? Right on there, Bill. That is the Chrysler building. Beautiful Fantastic silver diamond. topped. Yeah, a little bit yeah. of that Art Deco uh, yes. look from the 50s on the top of that building. Fabulous skyline at night. It really is. I don't know which I prefer, when it's actually dark and you see the lights of it, or uh, when you've got the sunset behind it, it's equally impressive. Anyway, we can't see it from our seat. Cameraman up at the very, very top, they can see it. So I think this is going to be an invigorating match. Nicholas Lepenti, our enemy in two weeks' time in the, uh, in the Davis Cup down in Ecuador, being played in his hometown. So I think the uh, support he's going to get is going to be unreal. Well, it's hard not to like the guy. I mean, you know, he's a good-looking guy, really well-liked on the tour, and he's got a good-looking game. I mean, this is, a, this is a guy that the ATP circuit has embraced. He's one of the new young guns in their campaign, and uh, he's deserving of it. I mean, this guy is a first-rate player and a guy that's well-liked on the tour as well. Plus, yeah. uh, plus he's, you know, he's, I think he's taken out Anna Kornikova, which pretty much puts him in everyone's good books. <laughs> I gather the girls in the office of the, you know, the various tennis associations around the world, they go crazy about him, and, uh, and I can see why. I mean, he's, he's got everything going for him. He's very pleasant and very handsome. I'm sick of him <laughs> already. <laughs> he's my enemy until yeah. we played the Davis Cup. And, and I'll tell you what, this guy's not doing badly either. I mean, what no. a career he's had probably the all-time nice guy around the tour and um, you know, certainly well liked and beloved by his native country and certainly loved by all the gals around the world and admired by all the men too because he's uh, a first-rate bloke absolutely I think he's going to be the, uh, the most generous spirited player you know of, of all and also in charities and uh, that white blob on the top of his head worries me. First of all, I thought it was painting the ceiling and standing a bit too close. Then I thought it was... Uh... A visit to the aviary, perhaps? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, then, I, then, I then thought, and somebody said it's a birthmark, and then somebody else has come up with the fact that he might have been hit on the head by a cricket ball, so I just don't know. <laughs> right from the word go, that is going to make the great net rusher think. You can see by his shirt that you've got a bit of wind blowing around there on that center court. And it's swirling wind when it gets down to the bottom of this stadium. I've been up on the roof, and uh, on the roof at least, it's coming from Lapenti's end towards Rafter. What it's doing down in the bowl there, who knows? Love. a little bit of extra juice on that second serve. You know, you down love 30. You have to come up with something pretty good there, and Rafter is able to find it. That's a good serve, too. Nice and wide. Yeah, he serves a little bit like Stefan Edberg, the great Swede, used to serve. He doesn't serve big and flat like Andy Roddick. He plays with lots of spin and uses that time to get in behind the, the serve to get to net. Oh, what a cute, cute little volley. 40, 30. Yes, well played. 
Just a nice little dink. Deuce. You can see the kind of variety he plays with. I mean, he's got the lob, he's got the angle. And of course, those kinds of shots allow you to play the hard, strong passing shots, and I'm sure we'll see some of those later on as well. Two lobs in the first game alone from Lepenti. He's obviously got a game plan. Good judgment and good recovery from Love 30. You know, Patrick Rafter's game is all about putting pressure on his opponent. You know, he's not a guy to really spend too much time in the backcourt, although he doesn't mind sparring a bit from the back, but he's going to use that as a stepping stone to get into the net and play some volleys. And uh, I'm not sure if. That kangaroo has a ticket or not, but I'm sure it's a supporter of Patrick Grafter. It's a smaller version of uh, the ones they all had at the Davis Cup tie, and about uh, about 5,000 of those uh, blow-up kangaroos <laughs> were waved in the air. You know, it was frightening. something of an all-rounder you know used to be just a baseliner but it's pretty adept at the net as well see how he opened that racket face just carved an edge of that ball very softly and very deftly Miles an hour that uh, failed second serve. Thirty. And that last person you saw on the screen is Patricio Rodriguez, a long time coach. Nicholas Lepenti. Been together since 97, and Rodriguez has been instrumental in bringing this young man along. Creative play from both guys. Look at Rafter with the angle. And that is a great dig right there, but he just can't quite get enough on it. And Rafter finds an angle that Lepenti can't handle. Well, 
well, that was some angle. I'm wondering whether he really meant it. For a big guy, Lepenti doesn't have an overpowering serve. He's, he really is a clay quarter in that regard. It, it seems like his serve is more of a way to get the point started than to, to win the point outright. But that time it was uh, pretty good out wide. That was the shot, but it just missed. One game yeah, well, it's good to see Lepenti up at the net. I, I think he knows that he can't stay in the backcourt all the time because Rafter is going to come in and put the pressure on him. So I think he's going to have to say, hey, I'm going to have to put some pressure on Rafter. And if I were Lepenti, I'd attack that Rafter backhand. You know, make Rafter come up with some backhand passing shots. That's not his best shot. And that's not a bad player there, former great Tony Roach. And Bill, as you know, you know, one of the great guys around the game as well. Yeah, terrific guy. One of the handsome eight. Well, the handsome seven plus Tony Roach. He was one of the great, great volleyers. His backhand volley was something else, really. And he's such a such a good guy to have around. I mean, he's a sort of part-time coach and advisor and guru and friend and all the rest of it to to Pat Rafter. And you couldn't ask for anybody better. Good thinking. Well, that one landed right on the baseline. Pretty creative play from Lepenti. You know, he's finding ways to attack Rafter. Not easily done. He's got a bit of an edge here. And Rafter at love 30 in both service games. going to struggle to get out of this. Well, some Aussie caps in the crowd. And there's a rafter rule sign. And I'm not sure about that jersey, Bill. What was that? No idea. Oh, look at the pace he got on that. He must have hit that pretty flat. Rolled his wrist round. That is a very difficult shot to put away. A high backhand smash. Fabulous shot. <laughs> Terrific play by Lepenti. First break of the match, and he really earned it. Something to think about already for Patrick Rafter. Well, Lepenti has gotten off to a great start. I mean, he's seeing the ball like a watermelon. I mean, he's catching it early, and he's really doing what he wants with it, and uh, that's a sign that he's relaxed and feeling very comfortable out here. And that can't feel good for Patrick Rafter. You see, Lepenti's created some very good situations, seven winners. So Rafter, not off to the start he wanted. Down a break here early. I'm wondering why he's being put on the night court. Always has a beautiful girlfriend, Pat Rafter. <laughs> <laughs> 